Hi, you are watching Analytics and Minutes, where we teach viewers how to build Data Studio dashboards. Last week, we took a break to answer a viewer's question regarding lead form submissions and GA4. This week, we're back to our SEO dashboard, the brand versus generic page. We will be learning pie chart, time series chart, and how to filter tables by brand versus generic keywords. First thing is to move our table down a bit so that we can add a date range control. Those are not carried over um, page to page as you go through your report. The second piece will be to add our pie chart. So under add a chart, find the pie section. There's your basic pie chart and your donut chart and place under your table. Data source is going to be um, the same as your date range filter and the one that includes average position. This is Search Console Site Impressions. Dimension, you will select the branded first generic field that we created in the previous video. Metric, I start with clicks and add an optional metric by sliding the optional metrics toggle and adding, you can add impressions or site click-through rate. Sort by clicks or whichever your top metric is. And then default date range will be auto because you want this to automatically update as you uh, move with your date range filter. Some styling options for the pie chart is you can make it wider or thinner to create more of a wheel. And you can manage dimension value colors within this edit option It'll automatically update. The second chart we're going to add is a smoothed time series chart. Again, we'll keep our data source as the site or search console site impressions and data source. Our dimension is going to be date, but we do need to edit date from the day to day to be including the year and month. And then down here we'll edit our default date range to be custom. Select where it says last 28 days and then scroll down our option here, this drop down arrow. Scroll down advanced. You'll want to do minus 13 months. This will give you an annual view plus one more month of the previous year. And then I always do minus one month. That way you get a full month's data and clients don't get worried looking like it's crashing when it's not really. There we are. Breakdown dimension is important here. This is what's going to give us the charting of both the lines branded versus generic. You can double check that everything is working properly with our view. Change our date range. Make sure those are 